Hello everyone, this is a Stocky. Welcome to a quick video of my Ticket server. What I'm going to be doing today is just giving you a quick demonstration about when you start on the server, you will spawn just over there in that little spawn area. And you can run around and have a look at different things. I'm going to hopefully get on a bit later and plant some trees. But the first thing you will do is type forward slash kit tools to get yourself a nice set of tools. Stupid sheep. And then you'll probably want to get some wood. So there we go, I now have some wood. Oh, look at that, I even managed to get myself an apple. So the first thing everyone does is they create a crafting bench. And the next thing that I would suggest everyone does, although I already have one, is I would suggest that everyone goes ahead and creates themselves a chest. So everyone knows how to create a chest and now the reason why you would want to create a chest is because that is the very first step in grief prevention and that's not just the I guess the idea of preventing grief that's grief prevention is in the plugin that's on this server that helps to protect everyone's things so the main purpose of this video is is just to give everyone a bit of an idea of the things that they can use to help minimize the amount that they will get griefed while they're on the server and just generally to minimize the amount of problems that you're going to have. So grab a bunch of wood. So I've got 28 planks now. That's probably not quite enough for what I really wanted to demonstrate. So I'm going to spawn just a few planks in just for this demonstration purpose. But I would generally suggest you're probably going to need just a little bit more than that. Gonna put the world back together because I like there being lots of trees around for people when they spawn. Just because you know you really can't do very much without the ability to have some wood. So let's take my planks, and the very first thing you would probably want to do once you start playing is you want to place a chest down. Now I've got that on the rules board. I've got that on the the notice area. Basically, what happens is when you place a chest down it protects an area around the chest. So I have now placed that chest there. So it says this chest is not protected. In my particular case, that's because I already have protected the spawn area. So what that does is that protects an area with a radius of three blocks. So that should be to there, to there. So everywhere within that area for a new player is now protected. I guess the question is, what does protected mean? Well, in terms of the way the setup is currently at the moment, all protected should do is it should lock that chest. And that should stop people from getting access to the items that are in that chest. I'm very interested to hear from people. Please let me know. Please PM me if there's any problems that with that not working. But that's the very first step to protect a chest. I would even suggest that when you're first starting off that you actually do more than just protected chest that you, you take all your stuff with you as much as you possibly can. The next thing you should be aiming to do is to create yourself a gold shovel. It doesn't take very long to find a piece of gold and then once you create once you get that piece of gold you can now right click with that piece of gold and it says claim corner set. I'm going to put that shovel away because I don't want to claim there but basically you can claim blocks in a minimum of a 5x5 five five area and you start with 100 blocks so I would suggest a 10x10 10 10 area so let's start just on this block here. So I've now marked that. Oop, sorry, I put my shovel away again. So I've marked that just there. So we want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you can see now there are gold blocks that pop up to spawn to let you know where your claim is. Now, any block that is placed within that area is now a protected block. So if I lay these wooden planks out like this, no one could come along and break those wooden planks. So anything that's in, now inside that area is, is protected. So I'm going to spawn some more planks in. So what I've basically done now is I've created a little enclosure that is a protected enclosure which means none of the blocks that are in this area can be broken. 
obviously at the moment I haven't got a roof on and I haven't got a door so people can still walk in so in terms of being protected it's not really protected at this time so just really quickly building up and I will get to a second in a second sorry why it is that I built inside the protected area because that's the next and it's a fairly important thing so here we go I'm gonna create a little bit of a stepped roof because that's the way I like to do things and you can also with these blocks right click on them uh, try right clicking on something you're not going to put down um, just get my fist out there we go right click and those blocks will disappear um, I've wedged myself in you can probably tell that I haven't been actually playing on the server very often because I have wooden tools still and they pretty much stink but except for the fact that I had to spawn the wood in because I wasn't quite ready this is exactly what it would be like when you come on and when you join so again finding a piece of gold takes a little while but generally it's not too bad it's one of those things that you can do certainly I would say within the first hour of being on the server that's something that you can get set up for yourself it I would think it would even take a lot less time than an hour to actually totally get this set up but what we have now is except for the fact that my door is open we have a totally protected area now depending on how you like to protect things certainly getting started there is one really really easy way to protect everything and that is if you place blocks even easy to break blocks like dirt other people can't break those blocks because they're inside your protected area so that in terms of grief protection if I was to log out now this is an area that no one except for me can get into so anything in here in a chest or a machine or anything like that is protected by against everyone except for the ops so there's a couple of ops on the server who help me out you are basically protected in every way against those kind of things obviously that's not an optimal situation so just to make sure that I don't die and embarrass myself on this video the very next thing I would suggest you get is a pressure plate and then I would suggest you get a button and then I would suggest you get an iron door now where would an iron door be in creative mode Hmm. Looks like I'm going to have to just spawn one. Iron door. There we go. Back to creative. So, pressure plate on the inside. Iron door to the outside world. And then put your button. Now the reason that's important is I protected to this corner just here. And now what that means is any block that's in there is protected. So because this button is now protected, I'm also the only person buttons don't like me very much I'm also the only person who can push that button so what that means is I now have an easy way to get in and out without breaking blocks constantly and this is now a totally protected little hut that for five blocks underground my protection extends from here so five blocks underground I believe it extends for any block that you place above ground as well so I'm not sure about natural blocks but certainly for any block you place above ground is protected and what we have is a protected little house and that is the very basics of not getting griefed while you're on this server I hope this video gets out to everyone out there who wants to play on this server because I really don't want people to get griefed I'm in the process of working on installing logblock to make sure that I can roll back changes by people who are griefed but just basically that will protect you and make sure that might not entirely stop grief but what it will do is it will certainly minimize the amount you get griefed and that's pretty important so I seem to be having issues right clicking because I'm carrying dirt but that's okay so thank you very much for watching I hope this is informative and I hope this helps people play on the server and have lots of fun and protect themselves from griefing please send me a PM if you'd like to get on the server and I'll I'll let you know how to get on the whitelist and do things like that.
please have a look at my other video, which was my, my quick server announcement video, which has the IP and all that sort of stuff. Thank you very much for watching. Hey, Stocky out.